Welcome to today's video. On this channel I will be doing a lot of activewear reviews of different brands so if that's something that you are interested in please subscribe down below and help me grow this channel. Today we are going to review the first drop of Gymshark 2021 Spring Collection and the most exciting thing about it is probably the Vital Seamless 2.0 collection which I am so so happy that they came out with because I absolutely love the feel and the look of the Vital Seamless leggings. They were just always too loose in the waist so I'm so so excited to try these on and I ordered a couple of other new sets as well so we can see the full range. I've got my order up here so let's just get to the try on. So I am going to start with the new Vital Seamless leggings and sports bra and I will compare them to the ones that I already own and worn for quite a while and we'll see the difference in sizing and any other differences that there can be in the design. So this colour is absolutely stunning. This was something that I was the most excited about in this collection and I can already see that the waistband is very tapered so if you've seen any reviews already from like Gymshark Athlete that's definitely something that they have spoken about already. So definitely a good sign and yeah the colour just, just does it for me. I hope I'm not going to look too washed out in this um, but we'll see. Um, and another thing that I have noticed straight away is that the bottoms of the leg look a little bit different. I am not sure if I am just making it up. I will have to compare it uh, right next to my leggings. But they look a bit more cuffed. So we'll see how this will look when they're on as well. So let's just put them on. Here we've got the first set. So the leggings definitely feel amazing. But I just want to say that the first time I put on any pair of Vital Seamless leggings, I have always thought the same, that they just hug me so, so well and are so supportive in this area, compressive, fit me in the waist, but then they stretch out. So I will be very interested to see how I get on with these ones and how they look like after I've worn them and washed them. Uh, but the colour is so beautiful, I really like them definitely really fitted in the waist. I can see a little bit of my fat coming around here so but I think that's a good thing if they are supposed to stretch a little bit anyway and uh, they have this pseudo seam at the back uh, so I find that quite flattering to be honest. Um, I prefer this to butt scrunches because I just think that they look like a bum hole uh, so I quite like that and they're quite easy to adjust in a way that your bum then looks a little bit better so I just pull the leggings up and the material to my bum area so that way it separates the bum a little bit better hopefully you can see this let's see if they are squat proof because they're quite a light colour I am quite impressed by how squat proof these are, especially given the light colour of the leggings. Um, but I would say that they are definitely safe for leg day. Um, I do also just want to mention that I always wear skin or like earth toned colour thong underneath my leggings. So that will definitely have an impact on that. Um, but I can still certainly say if you can see a bum crack through the leggings. So that's something that I still wouldn't wear. If you haven't tried any Vital Seamless leggings or any Gymshark leggings at all, I would say that these are a really good thing to um, give a go because they are so, so stretchy, very, very comfortable um, and especially with the improvements in the waistband, I think they are just a really great legging for quite a good price. Um, they do have quite a lot of detail um, you can definitely see it really well on this particular colour. So there is lots of dots going down the leg um, and then up the thigh here. So that models your leg really nicely. And then they have this subtle bum contour as well, uh, which I do really like. Um, I am definitely not a fan of this obnoxious 
contour like the flex range I definitely feel like an imposter wearing this like a clown really didn't like it that's very negative like I love the flex range from the front but not from the back uh, this is subtle enough uh, that I don't mind it at all but it still gives you a little bit of that booty enhancement if that's something that you're looking for now the sports bra for some reason I don't know if it's because I had darker colors of vital seamless in the past but this area seems a lot more pronounced I am not sure about this dotted design here I think it's a little bit too much for me of this contouring um, and this part looks a lot darker than the rest of the sports bra you can definitely see it on the camera as well and looks very thick compared to what I remember it to be but I haven't worn my vital seamless sports bras for a while and they are a very good basic and really good for like sweaty gym workouts and lifting as well I would say I just haven't been to the gym at all for months and months because we're still in lockdown so uh, working out from home I just prefer something a little bit more free and I just generally started to prefer more of like strappy and more girly looking sports bras uh, but this is very comfortable and if you like something that will cover you everywhere that it needs to cover you these are great it doesn't go low in the front covers uh, any side boob and then it's got a simple bracer back and yeah, this back detail is quite pronounced as well. I'm not sure if that's new, so I will put uh, my Vital Seamless in this sideways side and then we can see the differences. Okay, so I have my grey marl and this mauve brown, I can't remember what the colour was called, um, bra here. I only have this colour and this colour, so just the black marl. Um, in the old version at the moment because I have gotten rid of all of the other ones um, but I can see <laughs> that this is a lot bigger than this they are both extra small uh, I have just cut the tag out of this one uh, so there's quite a big difference um, it doesn't feel bigger if anything that older one feels a lot more stretchy and a little bit softer um, but the overall shape is quite different. Generally it does look like the dotted design is exactly the same, it's just probably less visible on this material because it's more marled, um, but it does look like it's placed in exactly the same place. And the parts that I was talking about earlier here, um, it does look the same here, it's just probably um, not something that I have noticed so much in these colours. And uh, the logo is placed in the same spot on both and then at the back and the top here and at the top here so that has not changed and again this dot thing is here the same as on this one for some reason this just feels a bit different and yes the old vital seamless is softer than the new one. Is that a good thing? I don't know. It might have something to do with the stretchiness and the stretchiness of the waistband, so I'm not sure about that, but this definitely feels a lot softer. So if you're getting something completely basic like a black colour, you might want to get a new pair of leggings um, so that the waistband fits nicer, but maybe an old bra because it just feels so so good. The vital seamless leggings get bigger and the bra gets smaller or just the bra was smaller I don't know and also another thing worth noting is that both of these bras make your boobs look a little bit bigger so even though they provide a lot of coverage and they do make your chest look really nice so if you don't want something that will squash you uh, these are a really nice choice now in terms of this part I was kind of right um, thinking that the new one seems like it's got um, thicker, I don't know what is it called, it's not a seam, like an overlay of a material around it um, and it's a little bit differently stitched so that's a little bit of a difference um, but again it just looks like more because of this colour I guess this one is just not as marled as the grey one for example 
time for their leggings I have washed these and air dried them so that they have a chance to show how small they can get straight after washing and without even trying them on um, I have also checked all of the dot design on both leggings and it's exactly the same um, again I just feel like this part here is like a little bit more dented than on the old version um, so you can see it a bit more I'm not sure if it's the colour or if it's a little bit of a change in like density of the material and how the dots are pressed into it. I am not sure how it's made. So here we are. It's a huge difference. Again, both pairs of leggings are size extra small, so it's exactly the same size. And I have lined up this detail on the waistband on both sides and you can see that there is like maybe a centimeter and a half or even two centimeters on each side oh this is a little bit less so let's say centimeter and a half it's a huge difference so i guess this literally comes down to the waistband being tapered here because this part of the design is exactly the same the waistband is pretty much the same height um, I would put this very slight difference maybe down to the old ones being a little bit stretched so I think the height of it is the same but overall when we line up both pairs of leggings this is the difference that we get it's a huge huge difference so I am so happy that they address this issue. So many people love the Vital Seamless. Um, so yes, I think that was a really great move. Um, let's just see how long this will last. Now when it comes to the length, uh, the new ones are a little bit longer, just this cuff detail longer, um, which I think is not a bad thing because with me being so short um, the length still works I can pull them up really nicely uh, for me to be able to wear them without them looking too long but yes the way they are ended is slightly different um, the old version just ends a little bit more seamlessly if that's something you can tell about these um, into that cuff at the bottom whereas this is a little bit more of a separate part of a legging I hope this makes sense it's not something that you can see that much when you wear it it's just a bit more thick and dense and it kind of looks like a jogger bottom um, but um, it's quite nice that then it just lies very close to your leg next up I have this beautiful blue color again in the vital seamless 2.0 range we've got the long sleeve top and the shorts which are actually a little bit different to the leggings in terms of the contour detail. So at the back of the shorts, there is this dotted design at the top, making this kind of like a V shape widow's peak type of situation. Um, and then we've got the same contouring at the bottom of your bum. And then at the bottom of the shorts, we've got some dotted design as well. The front I think is pretty similar. Again, some more dots at the bottom here. They are sort of cuffed, so interested to see if they will eat your thighs up a little bit. Again, the uh, waistband looks quite tapered, so very excited for this. Let's see how they fit. Now, they fit really nicely at the top, um, especially given that I have put on a little bit of weight over this lockdown. I feel like this will be a good size once I'm back to normal. Um, but I have a feeling like you can wear these shorts two different ways. So I literally just pulled these up and left them as they are. That's how they look like. They probably go down like a third of my thigh. So they're not as short, but they're not as long as um, just cycling shorts would be. Um, at the back, that's how the situation looks like. But I would imagine that most people would want their bum to look a little bit more full and pronounced so um, in that case you would pull these up again do the same thing just move a little bit of the material to the back and then that's how 
this effect would look like. I feel like I have a little bit of bunching up here in this situation but the bum looks better so I guess it's a little bit of personal preference. It's definitely not my favourite shorts. I still stand by my opinion that my favourite ones are the Whitney ones. Um, I just loved these shorts um, and kept both purse that I ordered so yeah that's how these look like. Not my favourite. If you've got a really nice bum and really nice thighs and not some fat pockets here that's probably nice but like on myself I'm not like a huge fan of these ones it's really lovely colour though maybe in the leggings I would love them more when it comes to this quarter proofness I think these are just a tiny bit more sheer than the mauve leggings which is interesting because this colour is a little bit darker um, anyway I do really love the colour and I might consider getting this in the leggings just not a huge fan of how the shorts look like on myself but I have seen so many athletes wear them and just look absolutely gorgeous now the long sleeve top is something that I was very interested and intrigued by because I was wondering if they have made improvements that I would have made compared to the old design. I sadly don't have the previous design top because I sold it um, but I do remember exactly why I sold it and what I didn't like and this has improved with the 2.0 collection for sure. So first detail is the sleeves, um, this whole part here, almost like a cuff, and this is like a waistband of the leggings, um, it's quite compressive and has a little bit more shape to it compared to the previous collection and I really like that because if you don't use the thumb hole um, your sleeve just looks like a normal sleeve whereas before it was very thin uh, which was really nice and soft but it just bunched up in a really weird way and I just found that it looked strange when I wasn't using the thumb hole so that's really nice I really like how it's ended here so it's like doubled the material it looks really nice and clean oh and if you fold this down if you're not using the thumb hole um, it literally just goes down to this part here and just looks really nice and clean I really like this my second complaint about the previous Vital Seamless was that it was just coming up um, here on my shoulders. It was literally like this. I could never make it sit properly. And even if I did and like pulled the top down, it would just come up so quickly. I really don't know why. Like it was really strange because the top was very soft and very stretchy and it just sat very strangely. And there is no issue like this. Yeah, even if I move my arms around, it just sits really, really nice. I really like that. It does look like the bottom is also a little bit different. Feels a little bit thicker and more sturdy. And it seems as though the top will stay down even if you're moving around. And it won't just come up with movement. With all that being said, I am wearing a bra underneath it. Um, I will try it on without the bra as well and then decide if I would like to keep it because I get hot so quickly when I work out that wearing long sleeve tops is just not for me. I just end up putting them on because they look cute, going to the gym, starting my warm up and two minutes later I would just end up taking it off. So this one is quite a thin material I feel like I could get away working out in this just doing some weightlifting um, without maybe a sports bra so that I don't feel as restricted and feel more comfortable so I will just see how this will look like without this the sports bra uh, and then make a decision based on that and the last set that I got in this haul is this ombre set I am quite happy that they made the ombre tops um, the sports bras because I am really not that huge fan of this double layered sports bra that they did for the uh, that seamless range. Um, this material is again seamless um, but it is a little bit thicker and more dense than vital seamless so I would say 
it is a little bit warmer but probably more sweat proof to be honest um depends on the colors that you get probably um and i do really like the feel of it i like the fit as well and the waistband is really nice and compressive um and the sports bra is very similar to the vital seamless one just a simple racer back i would say it's a little bit longer so if you don't like having a lot of space between your sports bra and the leggings or shorts that's quite nice because you don't show that much skin on here or also if you're quite tall and a lot of sports bras just look very short on you that might be a good idea to go for that one when it comes to the shorts i am actually very pleasantly surprised with the length of these um or rather surprised that i actually like these because i always thought that cycling shorts will make my legs look really really short because i am short as it is uh, but these ones actually don't look bad i do quite like them and they are very very comfortable the bottom of their short is also really nice and doesn't dig in so i do like that about them but they are definitely not that squat proof you can see a little bit of sheerness coming through although i don't know if it's got something to do with the dye in the material it could be that because on the material oh let's just do this because on the material here the gray goes through it's like kneaded through to the black so i think it might have something to do with this um you can just see a little bit of gray coming through when you squat but generally this range is really really nice it's such a smooth material and it's really comfortable um, again it's just a bit thicker on like a thicker and heavier side of the material um, that means that it's great for like cellulite anything like that it will probably hide any lumps and bumps so that is all for this haul. Um, I am very interested to see what you liked, what you ordered from this launch. I will leave links down below for all of the items included in this video. And I am very interested to see how the new Vital Seamless will wear and hold up. So I might do an update video and compare them to my previous vital seamless in there as well and just to this video to see if the waistband stretches at all and how they wear. I always wash my active wear on 30 degree cycle um, on like outdoor clothing so it's quite a quick wash and then I leave it to air dry and more delicate stuff I always put in little wash bags so then I make sure that nothing can ruin and the clothes in the wash so given i take such a good care of my clothes um and the vital seamless has stretched so so much um i am interested to see how the improved version will do so if you enjoyed this video please uh, give it a like and subscribe below and i will see you in the next one Bye.